Octave Day 4. If you could fly anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? Disneyland? Hawaii? Or somewhere else? Hmm. Today, if I had to choose, I would fly to the Arizona desert. Why? Because if we went to the Arizona desert, we would see two of my favorite birds to talk about, vultures and hummingbirds. Did you know that these birds live in the same place, but behave in completely different ways? Vultures look for bad stuff on the ground, like smelly roadkill, while hummingbirds look for good stuff in tiny flowers like sweet nectar. If you had to choose, which bird do you want to be like? Hmm. Do you want to be like a vulture and look for bad stuff in life? If you do, you will eventually smell like a vulture because you are so negative and no one will want to be your friend. Yikes! Or do you want to be like a hummingbird and look for good stuff in life? If you do, you will eventually shine like a hummingbird because you are so positive and lots of people will want to be your friend. Now that everyone wants to be like a hummingbird, I have an amazing picture to show you. See that prickly cactus plant? It would be so easy for the hummingbird to avoid it, right? Yet God gave hummingbirds a special ability to enter that difficult place and gather sweet nectar from flowers. Amazing, eh? It's like a superpower. And guess what? God has also given you and me a superpower to be like hummingbirds. Let me give an example. Say there's someone in your class who looks lonely or sad. At recess, no one is playing with them. That's a difficult situation. But if you reach out to that person with an act of kindness, you are like a hummingbird. You are entering into that difficult situation and finding the sweetness in that person's life. When you and I choose to do this, we become a special type of hummingbird. I call it holy hummingbirds. Sounds good, eh? Holy hummingbirds. Friends, in this world, there are far too many people like vultures. That's why you and me need to live as holy hummingbirds and transform this world through acts of kindness. With that in mind, let us end with an activity, a fun fact, and our octave prayer. The first activity is based on this cartoon picture of Mother Teresa. Tomorrow, I will tell you about Mother Teresa's amazing life. For today, I want you to write something in her thought bubble. I'll give you a hint. That holy hummingbird in the cartoon is a symbol of Mother Teresa. And the cactus is a symbol of someone no one else wants to reach out to and help. To give some examples, you can write in some words like an act of kindness or help someone who is feeling sad. Press pause on this podcast, fill in her thought bubble, and when you are done, press play. Fun fact. Do you remember what the four symbols of our hearts have been so far? Can you remember them without looking through the book and writing them down here? Hmm. Press pause and write them in. When you're done, press play. Today, we have our fifth symbol, the hummingbird. Tomorrow, we will talk about how we can be holy hummingbirds of the day. Remember that every time you see a hummingbird, it's a symbol of the life you are called to live for Jesus. My fellow holy hummingbirds, let's end together in prayer. Jesus, I want to become one of your great Eucharistic saints. Therefore, through the intercession of Blessed Carlo and St. Mother Teresa, I ask you, Jesus, for the grace to live out my consecration like a holy hummingbird doing acts of kindness to every person I meet. Amen.